GiveTV.net. Welcome to another Gift and How tutorial. And in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to make a fake game case. Um, this would be an example of what I'm talking about. This is a fake Halo 4 case that I just made, and I'll be teaching you how to make this case in question today. I apologize if my voice is a bit hoarse. I just got back from summer camp. That's also why I did not get this tutorial right on time, and uh, did a lot of yelling at summer camp. Anyway, uh, to do this project right here, what you will need is a regular Xbox game case. In my case, my case is Infinite Undiscovery. Uh, for this box, I'm going to need a Halo 3 wallpaper. You're going to need a backdrop of some sort. Uh, here is a Halo, 3 lo a Halo 4 logo that I got off the internet. Uh, I can't teach you how to make this today, uh, merely because we do not have enough time. And uh, the 4 is beyond me, but I can make the Halo text. Uh, you'll need whatever rating you of your game, uh, ESRB logo. And uh, I'm doing an M rating, because most Halos are M. All Halos are M. Um, the name of the manufacturers or makers of the game, in this case it's Bungie and Microsoft, and a render or cutout of the main character of the game. In this case, mine is Master Chief. Oops. So the first thing we need to do is make a new document the size of your game case. Uh, mine was 494 by 697, and that should work fine. It's the exact same size as the infinite on, on Discovery case I pulled off the internet. I'm going to make that bigger and zoom in so you guys can see a little bit better. Alright. So the first thing we're going to do is open up that infinite undiscovery case, which I believe is here. Uh, once that is opened, all we need to do is cut out this infinite undiscovery section, and we want to keep this Xbox 360 uh, header. So this can easily be done with a square tool, and I'm just going to zoom in close so I can make sure I know where I'm selecting. Alright, maybe move that up one notch. And you can zoom out a little bit and move that down. Now on the layers, right click on the infinite undiscovery layer, click add alpha channel, and then click edit, cut, then select none. Now what we need to do is we need to add our backdrop to the image. Click file, open as layers, and open up your halo backdrop. Once your halo backdrop is open, we need to reposition it. So I'm going to move this over here, just about like that. And as you can see, the Halo 3 logo is uh, sticking out, and we really don't want that. Uh, so what we're going to do is, because most of this is black and easily cut out, um, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit, uh, we can easily take the clone tool and get rid of this text. So take the clone tool, press Control to grab a selection, and then brush over the Halo 3. Once the Halo 3 has been brushed over, uh, we have a successfully good looking backdrop. Uh, now we're going to open the render of Master Chief, which I will have in the description. So click File, Open as Layers, and open up the Master Chief render. Here it is right now. Uh, let's move it right about here. That gives us a good kind of half his face shot. And uh, you'll see that we have this other uh, logo of the person in question who rendered it. We can fix that by right clicking on the layer, adding a layer mask, and uh, coloring over it in black. Once the layer mask has been added, right click on the layer again and click apply layer mask. Uh, duplicate your render layer, uh, select incandescent as your gradient uh, at the gradients dialog right here, then click colors, map, gradient map, set the layer mode to overlay, and tone down the opacity to around 70% and this gives him a, uh, a darker, redder feel. Uh, click merge down on that layer and so we have one render that is now more reddish than normal. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is import our Halo 3, Halo 4 logo. So I'm going to go file, open as layers, 
And we're gonna open that Halo 4 logo again. Uh, why did I say again? We're gonna open up another image again, excuse me. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is scale this down a little bit because it's a bit big. So click on the scale tool over here, click on that image, and then just drag it down about like this um, and press enter when you're finished. Now take, grab the move tool and move it about up here and then take the color select tool and select the black on the Halo 4 logo. Then click edit cut then click select none and that's our Halo 4 logo cut out. Uh, I'm gonna move it over a little bit about like that. That, that seems good to me. Now the next thing we're going to do is make uh, Master Chief's armor look a little bit more beat So uh, we're going to make a new layer right above Master Chief and take the Sparks brush, which is right here. Uh, make sure it's on the scale of 1 or around there. And color in your whole entire image with Sparks. Okay. Once you're done, click Filters, Map, Displace. Select the own layer for displacing. That'll give us this kind of effect. Uh, on the mode, we're going to select uh, Cardiacian, however that's pronounced. Maybe move it up a little bit. Set the Edge Behavior on Wrap and click OK. Now what we're going to do is set this layer mode on Overlay and then apply a layer mask to it by right clicking on the layer and clicking add layer mask now take a fuzzy paintbrush tool uh... you should have this uh, maybe tone it up a little bit now take black as your foreground color and color anywhere that is not on the master chief the next thing we need to do to make his armor look a little more beat up is uh... select the original master chief layer and use the dodge and burn tool located right here and for the dodge and burn, select burn as your mode and maybe turn the size of the brush down to about 0, 1, 1. And then you'll notice each click on the dodge and burn tool dodges at one level. So if you click a lot, you'll get what look to be like burn marks and this creates a very cool looking effect. Just don't overdo it. Uh, once you have burned him enough to be satisfactory for your liking, um, the next thing we need to do is import the logos in which will make it look more realistic. So I'll, I'm going to do that. File, open as layers, the ESRB logo. Scale that down. Move that over here. And uh, for if you want to make it really realistic, you're going to want to type some really small print white text down there. It, it, can, it can be so small that no one can read it. The only thing left to do is to import the both game publishers' names, which I will do. File, open as layers. And blurb for Bungie. And then the only thing left to do yet is import the Microsoft Game Studios logo. <coughs> file open as layer and then uh, it should be right here scale this way down uh, use the color select tool on the white click add alpha channel on the layer oh, no, never mind it's already been added and click edit cut select to none move that down and then click select Invert. Oops. Colors invert. And that gives us the Microsoft Game Studios logo. So, YouTube, thank you for watching this tutorial on how to make your very own mock game case. Uh, I'm Gimp Know How, and I guess I'm done.